The state of California requires that your city and local sewer agency enforce limitations on the amount of fats, oils, and grease, collectively known as fog, and other debris that goes into sewers. Food service establishments are required to use care to prevent sewer clogs, which can spread disease, pollute streets and beaches, require expensive cleanup, and even close your business. Fats, oils, and grease are a major cause of sewer clogs. Restaurants and other food service establishments are a significant source of fog. This video will show you kitchen best management practices for your food service establishment to properly handle and dispose of this waste. In the past, you may have put fats, oils, and grease down the drain. But remember, the drain is not a dump. Regulations now require proper disposal of fog. To comply, your business may need to contract with a permitted rendering or recycling company for collection of waste grease or oil. Fats, oils, and grease come from meat, lard, cooking oil, butter, and shortening. You can find them in fryers, pots and pans, food scraps, and spoiled food, as well as on floors and cooking surfaces. The trouble starts when they get into the sewer through sinks, floor drains, and food grinders or garbage disposals. Sewer lines can become blocked, causing untreated wastewater to overflow into your facility, onto the street, and into storm drains leading to the ocean. Sewage spills can spread disease and can result in large fines and cleanup costs. The best way to stop these substances from building up in sewer lines is to prevent them from entering your drains. Here's how. Always use kitchen best management practices. Those discussed in this video are the most common. However, please consult with your local city and or sewer agency for any additional kitchen best management practices that you may be required to follow. Your city or local agency may conduct inspections to confirm that you're using best management practices. These practices include the following. Install screens on all kitchen sink and floor drains. Screens should be easily removable for frequent cleaning. Remember, the drain is not a dump. Dispose of screen solids in the trash. Food solids can clog pipes or overload your grease traps and interceptors. Remove excess waste before washing floor mats and garbage cans in a mop sink or designated curbed area connected to the sewer. Do not wash them in the street, alley, or where runoff can go into a storm drain. When cleaning hoods and filters, dispose of the waste into the trash or drain connected to a grease interceptor or have the hoods professionally maintained. Scrape or dry wipe excess food and grease from pots, pans, fryers, utensils, and screens into the trash. Empty grill top scrap baskets or boxes into the trash. Use rubber scrapers, squeegees, or paper towels to dry wipe food and grease from cooking ware and serving equipment into the trash prior to washing. Do not discharge hot wastewater with temperatures above 140 degrees Fahrenheit into a drain connected to a grease trap or interceptor. Pour yellow cooking grease and liquid oil from pots, pans, and fryers into an appropriate covered grease container for recycling. Use a permitted waste collection service or authorized recycling center for getting rid of this grease. Keep all written records of pickups and servicing. Inspectors may ask to see them. Avoid spills by emptying containers before they get full. Empty them or tell your employer that the container is almost full and needs to be serviced. Use a covered container to transport grease without spilling. Buy or make your own spill kits with absorbent materials such as towels or a kitty litter. Keep spill kits well marked and accessible. Designate a key employee on each shift to monitor cleanup and restock the spill kits. 
place materials such as absorbent pads or paper towels under fryers or other areas where grease may drip or spill. If a spill does happen, block off floor drains near the spill to prevent grease from entering the sewer. Never hose a spill into a drain, gutter, street, alley, or storm drain. Clean spills completely with towels or absorbent materials and put them in the trash. As an employee, follow these kitchen best management practices and refer to posters and brochures as reminders. It's more than just a good habit. Considering the possibility of fines and expensive cleanup costs, it's also good business. Thank you for remembering that the drain is not a dump and for taking the time to understand how proper disposal of fats, oils, and grease can help protect public health and the environment.